This is peak. Um, this is preeminent. I'm not going to review. I'm just telling you what it is. You may have your own gripes about the way it ends. I, it's, I, I, I don't. I don't know what else you could. I, as I understand, looking at Twitter. Listen, dude. This is a fucking movie that if you don't look at social media and you just come to your conclusion, there's very few things you can complain about. Maybe the sound of it, uh, you know, uh, in some theaters, the audio is a little bit low. The only time I really had trouble hearing stuff was when um, was when they kind of got into Spanish. You kind of have to have a little more active, you know, ear to listen to language you're not accustomed to. Uh, but like, it's a mild, like you can understand almost literally everything. I, I don't think I miss any relevant like line of dialogue. Um, the, some of the Spanish, uh, you know, there's some, definitely some the Spanish um, raises. You don't need to know Spanish to get what's being said by people speaking Spanish in this movie. But at times it was kind of hard to, to, to hear a little bit. But all that being said, outside of that, even the ending, some people would complain about the ending. Um, I, I, I liked it. I, I didn't. It doesn't stay on its own, like, the fucking Dark Knight or whatever. This is just me regurgitating shots on social media. If I didn't look at social media before I did this review, which I probably shouldn't have, I would have no problems with this movie. None. The, the, the sound shit and um, the the ending complaints only heard on social media. I have no complaints about this movie. This is the best movie I have watched since covid the COVID era of movies, which is pretty much, you know, 2020 to, to now. For four years, this is the best movie I've watched. There's ton of movies I have not watched. But I I thought Everything Everywhere All at Once was a five-star movie. And I think it's, I think this is better than that movie. I don't know about how much better. I, I probably, you know, nostalgia, or not nostalgia, but a recency bias. Um, it, it beats the shit out of Tar. I, I saw someone say this might be... Tar might be better. This this piece of shit of Tar. This is fucking twenty points higher than Tar. The fuck shit. Like I I love Tar. I, I listen to Tar in AirPod Max, fresh out the box, damn near. Um, I had I think a 1080p uh, rip because you know 1080p rip. Um, but good good audio quality, all that shit. I love Tar. It's Tar isn't even the same ballpark as this movie. Um. Just think about 2022 movies that were great. 2022 was the return of film. And I don't know if any movie I watched from 2022 is in the same ballpark as this. Everything, everything, every other wall at once, blah, blah, blah. Hits them the same notes. So, yeah, I think, I think it might be comparable. But, like I said, that movie made me feel something watching it in theaters. And I think this movie might be better. It didn't, it did, I did, I did get a little bit sentimental. Like, I didn't tear up. I damn near teared up everything ever all at once. The only thing I'll say that, that gets everything everywhere a little bit, uh, higher is in the emotion department. But even then, like, it's comparing, like, an 11 to, like, a 10. Because I think the emotion in this movie for a fucking animation is fucking incredible. This, and that, what makes that work is how good the sound, or not the sound, the acting is, the voice acting. The voice acting is incredible. The way they depict things with the fucking uh, cinematography is incredible. Um, the like the way that the damn characters move and and emote is incredible. The drawing is the storyboarding is incredible. There's nothing that's not incredible about the way things are positioned, posited, acted, voiced in this movie. The only thing you could possibly have any kind of complaint about would have to be something pertaining to the fact that it's not um, a complete movie. It's a trilogy. It's not a complete movie. That's the only thing you could be complaining about. That there's nothing else I can even. If you enjoy movies, this movie is worth watching. There's no superhero cartoon disconnect. None of that shit. Like Spirited Away. If you enjoy films. Spirited Away is objectively a good film. It doesn't matter if you're 12, 97, you hate anime, yada, yada, yada. That's a good movie. This is a good fucking movie. 